You got everything almost buttoned up here? Pretty much. Um, we're back to the Berkey for the weekend, which I'm excited to have because our faucet right here. I see. You yeah. need to put Sorry, babe. I know. Listen, I'm going to do it. You don't have to remind me every three months. I'm going to do it. <laughs> but I'm very glad we have this so then I don't have to buy tons and tons of water bottles. Yes. Yes. I agree. Let's anyway. take a look here. Fresh, 65. Gray, 13. Black, 38. So, that's good. But we, we gotta hit a we gotta hit a RV park before we dry camp for how many days? Five days? Yeah. Five days. <sighs> kind of a big day today. Somewhat of a somewhat of a momentous episode. We're headed to DC Storage to pick up the bird, who is just she is just stunningly bright right now, inside and out. We're gonna bring it down to the museum. Then uh, we're gonna go over to Culver for Carson's graduation. All that's kind of in the same area. And then uh, and then on our way back, or after the graduation, I'm dropping off the Airstream over to FSI to make some updates to the solar that we didn't do before. We did the battery conversion, but we didn't add solar. We're also gonna make some tweaks to the system, but that'll probably be a separate video. In fact, the graduation might be a separate video. I have no idea, but uh, a lot of milestones happening right now within the family, and it's fun to share. So I've got a lot of work to do. Let's go to montage, we'll come back, and we'll get on the road. Oh, Gary. How do you feel? Great, I'm excited. Aren't She's you? where she belongs. She is. Yes. Yeah. Someone's in trouble with her. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you taking everybody? I don't know. You all coming? Yeah, yeah. we all get in? Yeah, you guys get in. Crack it up, baby. Watch out. Okay. No, I'm, I got I got Traverse City cherry yeah, fudge ice cream. Cross that open. What are you doing here? Just me and my Berkey. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you taking it? In the truck? Anywhere. I love this thing. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> Doesn't she look great? She's ready. She's so ready. She's ready to Next, show off. Yeah. Yeah. Have nice. everyone meet everybody. Yeah, she's gonna be like, welcome! <laughs> Look at these wheels and tires. Look at how big they are. They're huge, I know. Oh wow, all shined up. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that looks great. Oh thanks. It? Oh, it's so clean. Isn't it? Oh my gosh, that's great. Still smells like a museum, which is it good. Still does. Which is great. Hey, that's really cool. It looks so nice. Wow. What do you think? Thing. I know, I do too. It has a good smell only when it's been cleaned. It has that original museum hey. smell. Gary's up there. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna have this, and I wanted to get some pictures of us on Route 66 okay. to make a little. We can do that. I'm gonna make a little collage here. Oh, that's great. On the wall. All right, we better get underway. Well, wait <sighs> Gary, it is so good to see you. I'm sure you're excited to get to the museum. Let's get the bird fired up and aired up. Rise like a biscuit. Okay, Gary, hold on. We're going. Watch my tail swing, and we'll get out of here. It's so great to be back on the road. I just love standing up here with the world in front of me. The bird seems even more stable than before. Never mind.
Oh yeah? <laughs> That's funny, we're just taking the bird to the museum. There goes Jack. <laughs> we just met him over at the at the loves. He follows KYD, which is funny. He says, I never expected to see you. Oh, sorry, Gary. Anyhow, let's see, what time is it? It is uh, 1.55 and we still have an hour to go. It is. Hey, we're bringing it right into the museum floor, like right now. Right now. Right now. Wow. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. Man, that's, that smells good. Then it though. Not even believe it's gonna be here. This is such a great place because then other people can come and see. Look, it has the kind of lighting of the of the bird. It's mood lighting. <laughs> it's mood <smooth> lighting. <laughs> Perfection. Isn't this cool? It's very cool. You know the neatest part about RV travel hmm. is you can look at any picture and think, I've been there. I know. Look at it's look so at neat. Big Sur and Bigsby Briggs behind you. Yes. Bigsby Bridge. We have the Grand Canyon. We have Saguaros. I mean. He couldn't be more excited. Hey, just ask him. Just ask him. So um, let's just get our blue box. Okay. And yeah. bring that with us. Okay. And then um, Chuck said that there's a um, dispo a area to dispose of that, so that when the guys come from FSI, they're gonna when FSI guys oh, come, awesome. they're gonna put the plexiglass and the mm. LED lights so that everyone can oh, see their right. awesome system. Right. Sweet. Perfect. So um, oh, that's awesome. What do you think, Charlie? Are you ready to go? Come on, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. That was really fun. Wasn't it though? Yeah. It's going to be a blast to have a party here and do like a grand opening. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think? I'm excited to see people's pictures. Like just like seeing the Keep Your Daydream sign and, and the sign for us in Watson Lake. Yes. On the way to Alaska. In Alaska. I'm just excited to get pictures from people on Instagram and Facebook about yeah. visiting and well, sharing the bird. I'm also excited that for the bluebird that there, there's a bluebird representing in the museum. Yes. Well, I just look at her, you know, some people were walking around, they're like, oh, tell us about the rig. And we were telling them, we've been down Route 66. We've done all kinds of crazy trips. We've been around a racetrack. Yes. I mean, that bird has seen some things. Yeah, I know. So anyway, yeah. it's neat. You see it? Yes. I see the bird. Oh my God. <laughs> there it is. Hello. 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 Are you ready? I love you guys and I love this bus. <laughs> Here we go! It's the beginning! This is it. This is it! Start.
Did I catch a load of what? How many steps is gonna make you feel like you walked on the road? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's gonna lose its will. Yes. That's great. <laughs> I think you're gonna really lose your will to do it. <laughs> I feel like I kind of belong here. <laughs> of where Lincoln lived. This is his house. Honestly, more proud of the bird than I am us <laughs> in this season. I think the she bird did, did an great. awesome job. I love that we got it from Missy and Bunny yes. back in like Hilton Head. Yes. Crazy, right? Yeah. And it's come all the way out to California, so it's really cool. And I love that they got to see the bus live on it, like its destiny. Well, it was on mission, right? Yes. We followed the upholstery. <laughs> we followed the upholstery. And uh, we have since come up with a very good plan for the bird that we're very excited to share, and I think you're really gonna like it, but we'll share that soon. There. Mm. Okay. Woo! Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's start bringing everything in. Oh let's no, I want to show you the bird and then we'll bring everything in. Oh, okay. There's okay. plenty of time, Trish. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yay, that is so cool. And look at, we even made the list. Number one. Oh my god. god. I don't know where <laughs> oh hey, what do you think of the Charlie Gary cutouts? Hey! This is fantastic! Look at this! There's two of them. There's two of them. Good, very smart. Yeah, always okay. gotta get an extra. There you go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Cool. Look at this. These are great. I Aren't wish I good? had those while we traveled. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Oh, we got a little rope. Okay, yeah. fantastic. And it's all lit up. Oh, wow. You can see that it's moving. Oh, they did that on purpose so you can see the airflow. Oh, yeah. That is so neat. You can't even tell where the lights are. Isn't it amazing? They did such a beautiful job. This is John. Hello, everybody. He has a uh, snow cone machine. That's and thank right. you so much for showing up. It's Father's Day weekend, so on a road trip with your son. Fantastic. We're, we're working on our flow right now. Yeah, what is our it? Our hot dog flow. Look at all this. Ketchup, pickles. We got it all. We need another little table on the Relish. Later, I got on the computer, I put it back on Facebook Marketplace, out of the blue, this guy, in caps, I want your bird! <laughs> This is kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, you're down there with Charlie? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's fantastic. Trish, what you doing back there? Coordinating. Mm hmm Lots of coordinating. We're headed to graduation. Yes. Oh, we're, Trish is so excited. I'm so We're actually, excited. we're still at the museum. We decided to stay here because I didn't realize this, but the RV, modular home, Hall of Fame museum has this large parking lot in the background with about 20, 30 amp hookups. And I think it's $40 a night to stay here. Harvest host in the front, but if it's the summertime and you're just passing through and you want to stop by the museum, but you want hookups, you can and they have water. Like they have water stations and 30 amp. So keep that in mind. 
I think you have to plan in advance. You have to call. Yeah, you might have to call in advance. Yeah. Uh, or when you for get hookups. here. For hookups. Yeah, or when you get here, you can say, hey, do you have the hookups? And, and you can take care of it. Anyway, so you have that going on. And then the other thing is, um, we really need to dump because we're going to be dry camping for five days, four nights. And, you know, I said this before. I really like using the Campendium app to find dump stations, but I sometimes I forget. <laughs> and... Let me just pull this up because... Sometimes we forget the resources we have available to us. That's so true. And so anyway, um, when you go into Campendium, I can pull it up and then I can actually filter by dump station. And I just can't even believe it. Look at all those little brown poop emojis. Those are all the dump stations. There's so many. So that's definitely something that we're going to be hitting a loves on the way down. I don't like dumping at a truck stop, but you know, it's five or ten bucks and works out pretty good. All right, so we have that going on. And then I the other thing is... Like it. So people understand your thought process. Oh, why don't I like it? Okay, so um, they're not in the great spot, and uh, they're a little they're dirty. Usually precarious they're a little smelly. With your rig. Yeah, and they're just—it's just not ideal. But you know, it's available. And then Trish just did a live stream last night on RV kitchen tips and tools. Yes, it was fun. We, we did. had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was great. So I'll link it right here. We actually created a redirect for the live stream. So if you go to this link right here, then you can be redirected to watch the live. It was about—it's about one hour. And Trish went through all the drawers and no all editing, their, just no editing. bringing you around the kitchen, and hanging out. Charlie was barking around; it was a good time, so you can watch that. All right. Okay, Culver's an hour away. No way. The Loves is twelve minutes away. Wow. So we'll go dump at Loves. We'll go to Culver. I'm gonna swing by that trash receptacle. You ready, Park. Charlie? You ready? Oh, look at you. You little weirdo. Do you record this? Oh. Turn right onto Love's Drive, then turn right. Okay. Um, for some reason, it's always very difficult for me to find where the dump is. Turn right. This is the second time I've pulled up to a dump station <laughs> on the wrong side. I mean, it's like, am I brand new? In my defense, I, I get into these tight areas where I'm I'm so busy looking for the dump, I'm not thinking which side are my tanks on, and it's not really set up for RVs. So you wouldn't think that you would have to go into the parking lot and wrap all the way around to get on the right side. So, you know, it is what it is. It's locked. Is it locked? Yep. It's 10 bucks, black and gray, waste only. Okay, hey Caleb, would you mind going inside and getting that thing unlocked? Sure. Start. This is what I love about Level Mate Pro. I'm able to, Trish is inside on a phone call, and I'm able to level with the blocks without any help. I just go up until I see that number go down. Now three inches is pushing the limits of the blocks. But as you can see, there we go. Parking brake first, then park. <laughs> it's, that is maxing it out. Three inches is about as about as high as these things can go. Hey, your mom and Victoria came in, so now our family is complete. Yep. And our bestest friends are here. Yes, they are. Wendy and Bill, mm -hmm. and brother, daughter, Grace. You all know who yep. they are. So um, anyway, we got to go over to Four Gun. That's the first performance. Yep. And then we're gonna move into a rehearsal. We're gonna do a little dinner, and then tomorrow is the big show. Oh so, yeah. Let's go. All right. What are the chances, I like the aviators, what are the chances that you can put this on the truck? Oh, the chances are high. Let's I'll, go. I'll put it on. Let's try. Carlos is your next driver? Driver yeah. for your truck? So he's the next driver for the headquarters truck. Oh, that's so good. What year are you, Carlos? I'm 24. So he's a sophomore. Okay, sophomore? And yes. you're driving? Yes. Good for you. Already. How'd that happen? 
I don't know. I've always just uh, been around cars my whole life, so I decided that um, this would be the thing that would make me like look forward to waking up every day here at Culver's. So yeah, that's I good. I just really put my mind to it. And you're from Mexico City? Yes. Mexico. Awesome. Yeah, so, um, so at the end, Carlos is going to come out, and he's going to hug me, and then he's going to take my spot and do the final lap and leave. Right on, man. High five. I can't. We've already decided there's a lot of troublemakers in this group. We like to have fun. Yeah. So we're trying to, you know, yes. be normal. Yes. And take a nice picture yeah. before we go to the final ball. And this really is the final ball. It's graduation. Caps are going up tomorrow at 10. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Man, how do you guys memorize that? Uh, <laughs> it's, like we, it's like we make it up on the spot each time. Yeah. Bye. I'll see you on um, Monday. Monday. Tomorrow. Okay. okay. Be All good right. out there. So we're packing up the brake and we're getting ready to drop it off because we're going to do a whole situation. Mm -hmm. Solar. Oh yeah. It's going to be fun. But what I wanted to tell you is that in the beginning of this weekend, mm -hmm. I was kind of nitpicking Carson. I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's here to see you. You need to be like yeah. at your best. Say thank you. Do this. Do that. Very. I was over momming. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was getting a little nervous, you know, that because I want him to shine. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> hold on. I'm holding. I'm waiting. So anyway, what I wanted to say was I just helped him pack up his room uh -huh. and the janitor came down and she started crying and she yeah. said, I'm going to miss you so much. Uh -huh. and I thought that was really neat. Miss Carol. She's so nice. Yeah. So anyway, I don't like crying. <laughs> anyway, and then a dad came over and he said, my son was a freshman this year and you took care of him. And I oh. just want to say thank you. To Carson, he said that? Yeah. And so, and I wouldn't have ever seen that. So I think it was like a gift for me because mm -hmm. all weekend I was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so anyway, I just think that we get these like special little treats, especially like, cause you and I talk about how we like, gosh, turn it. <laughs> you and I talk about how we like ordinary times more mm -hmm. than like, peak times well, more me more than you but yeah yeah but like <laughs> ordinary times you just get to be with each other and there's no pressure for like what it's supposed to be uh -huh. and so um so this was like a supposed to be weekend yeah supposed to look a certain way and it's supposed to be a certain way but i think what the most touching part was to see miss carol come up and hug carson and truly be genuine in the fact that she was going to miss him and mm -hmm. then see that dad and so um anyway I don't know. I just think that we get these like special little moments and it was a really like the cherry. Yeah, that's good. This is Gary, the Gemini giant, wishing you smooth roads and fast Wi-Fi for the last time. I also hope you stop by and see me at the RV Hall of Fame Museum in Elk Hart, Indiana. Be sure to get a picture with me and Charlie too. Thanks for tuning in each Sunday. We're now heading west for our National Park Blitz. The best of this season is yet to come. See you next Sunday.